Tonight, in an exclusive interview, News 3's Darius Johnson sat down with a former federal prosecutor to learn what could happen next in this case. And Darius, he tells you that he's shocked that the Department of Family and Children's Services decided not to investigate the abuse allegations that surfaced back in 2017. Yes, indeed, and he says that mostly because defects is tasked with protecting children, but there are some things he said that could prevent defects from being held responsible. How can a kid go missing and no one know that that kid has gone missing. That's a broader failure in my view, not, you know, not to point a finger at anybody. That's the question everyone is asking since Mary and Elwin Crocker Jr. were found buried behind their Effingham County home December 20th. According to investigators, Elwin Jr. had been killed two years ago. Mary was last seen weeks before the bodies were discovered, but neither was reported missing. Local attorney and former federal prosecutor Tom Withers says it's a shocking failure. It's just inconceivable that simply because of the passage of time that the default position of defects is going to be, we're not going to investigate if it's over a year old. Do you think the Department of Family and Children Services <coughs> is partly responsible for what happened to these kids? No, I don't. Um, and I say that strongly because we followed our practices and, and our protocols. Here with the prior allegation from several years ago that at least raises enough of a suspension that they're put, in, put on a uh, family protection plan or whatever. You would think that when you're dealing with a situation of child abuse, child endangerment, that red flags would uh, be going off and that a uh, full and fair investigation will be conducted. Wither says there is a broader failure when it comes to everyone who came in contact with Mary and Elwin Jr. The system failed in, uh, on this occasion. It really it failed. It failed dramatically. Now, there have been a number of lawsuits filed against defects in Georgia for repeated complaints of neglect and abuse that were not investigated. Withers says he doesn't know if this could be a case because the biological mother would have to make the claim against defects for civil liability. We will continue to keep you updated. Darius Johnson, WSAV News 3.